Hello you guys and welcome back to the show! We're getting back into some more Chrono Trigger today. We are still in this big mansion place that we got those dudes to repair. Um, they've repaired every spot now because he didn't say anything about monsters, which means that they are done repairing this place. Uh, so we got uh, Bruce's Mass Immune powered up to ridiculous levels on the left side. So now it's time to go and mess around with all the stuff on the right side. <coughs> this is the episode where you guys get to figure out why I kept yelling at, and uh, wh why I kept yelling and saying, "Don't open treasure boxes." Okay, so there's the treasure box. Don't touch it. We're still in the year 600, just for reference. So we got ourselves one of these special treasure boxes. Now, if you remember, we touch the treasure box. Something inside is reacted to the pendant. Take out the contents. No, do not. Come on up in here. And there's a couple more fights on your way up this way. You basically just luminaire, luminaire pretty much anything that you see. From now on out, you know, your answer to anything <laughs> should be luminaire. <laughs> just make sure that you have the gold stud equipped on uh, Ash so that... Uh, he is not using up his MP like there's no tomorrow. Come on up inside here. Just wanted to make sure that, uh, the other two were still on uh, flare and water too, so that I can be uh, aggressive. Bruce's level up. Alright, so now we go up here, fight this last battle. God, I love Luminaire, man. It just wrecks everything. There is not a whole lot in this game that can survive Luminaire. Ashes level up. That's what I'm talking about. So we got ourselves two more of these treasure boxes. And we say no once again. Click on the other one. And we say Hails no once again. And we simply leave. <laughs> so now we're in the year 600. Think about this. We're in the year 600. Okay. And we didn't open up any of these treasure boxes. Now we're going to go to the year 1000. <laughs> because we got the ruins fixed in the year 600, they are still fixed in the year 1000. Now we can come inside the 1000 northern ruins, the northern ruins in the year 1000. Yes, they look the same. And look at what we got here. Treasure box. So we'll open up the treasure box, get ourselves a hyper ether. I love the inside of these treasure boxes, the colors on them and stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I know there's a tab in here. Okay, there we go. So we got ourselves a magic tab. Hello, Sophia. Come and get up, my sweet. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I love the inside color on those treasure boxes. That's awesome. Whoever decided to make it like a nice velvet blue on the inside. Kudos, man. Man, kudos to everybody that worked on this game. Do you guys know they put Final Fantasy VII on hold in order to make this game? Yeah, grab yourself the power tab in the bottom left corner there. Now we can come over here, open up the treasure box, and get ourselves an elixir. Come over here. And we open up the treasure box. Nova armor powered up. 
Got one moon armor. Now moon armor is the best armor in the game for male characters. You cannot equip moon armor on a female character. So that is definitely going on him. So magic defense plus 10, it brings his magic defense, you can see, to star star, and his overall defense to 221. So that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> He's very tough. <laughs> Daddy's girl. Yeah. Who's a good girl laying on the couch? So we'll come up here and we got ourselves the two treasure, the other treasure boxes. Kali Blade powered up. Got one Shiva Edge. Siren powered up. Got one Valkyrie. Alright, so we just got the second best sword in the game. And, uh, we actually just got eh, Sophie's ultimate weapon, the Valkyrie. Look at the attack difference, 82 to 136. <laughs> like, holy crap. And then we got ourselves the Shiva Edge, so we're going to switch out our Vidich Blade for the Shiva Edge four times damage at critical. Okay, and it goes up to 214, which is insane. We got ourselves our Shiva Edge that, like I said, it's the second best sword in the game, and now he is stronger than Bruce, uh, once again. <laughs> Bruce is still a monster, though. 209? Wow, look at Reyna. 229? What a beast. Whew. That's one woman you don't want to get in the way of, man. Reyna? Ooh-wee. Better hope she thinks you're cute or something. <laughs> Alright, so we got a bunch of cool stuff, and this is the reason why you don't open up treasure boxes in the year 600. If you opened up <coughs> all those treasure boxes in the year 600, you come here to the year 1000 and those treasure boxes simply would not be there, and the normal treasure boxes would already be open. So you come on back to the year 600. Land for the last time here in the year 600. And we're once again gonna come on down here to open up this treasure box for the second time. <laughs> Hyper Ether. Yep. How to get two items for one. <coughs> Go back in time. Grab that elixir again, and now last time we grabbed the moon armor out of here, so this is going to be the nova armor. So the nova armor is the second best armor in the game. And we are actually going to go and equip that on... Oh yeah, that's right, eh? The gloom, gloom is better than nova. Okay, so Bruce. Go ahead and have yourself some Nova armor. Protects your status. So that will prevent him from taking any status effects like chaos, confuse, poison, any of that stuff. Even uh, HP down and everything, it completely protects you. Which is glorious. Never have to worry about status effects. And then we're gonna open up and get ourselves the Kali Blade. And then open up the other one that turned into the Valkyrie, we grab ourselves the Siren. So those are obviously worse than the ones that we got from the year 1000, because the ones that we got from the year 1000 are the powered up versions of those weapons. Alrighty, so there's a couple of uh, 
Gotta remember where I am here. Where's this? Okay, that's that. That is that. I'm looking for the little magical cave. So there's a few treasure boxes that you can pick up. We're in the year 600, which is the perfect time to go uh, hunting for those black treasure boxes. <coughs> so, there's one inside the magic cave. Right there. So there's our magic ring. I believe the magic ring increases your magic by 10. It's pretty crazy. And then we're gonna go down here. And I'm just gonna do a very quick house check for any black treasure boxes. Nothing. Go inside here. We're just checking buildings quickly one by one. If we see a black treasure box, we're going to touch it with the pendant, power it up, and then uh, go to the year 1000, open it in the year 1000, and then come back to 600 and open it again. That's the trick to uh, getting all, well, not getting all, but getting most of the best items in the game. You got to use this little uh, uh, power-up trick with the uh, pendant. So this is Tata's house. I can't remember if there's one in Tata's house or not. So there's little Tata. He'll grow up to be a, like a fine warrior though, Tata, you know, because he's a brave little kid. He wanted to be the hero, but he's just a kid, you know. He found the hero's medal and he thought that he was the hero, you know, because the hero's medal kind of chooses people, I guess you could say. Uh, this little thing right here, that's to save the forest. Go ahead and check inside this in. No treasure boxes. Check out this place. Yeah, sorry, I can't I can't remember where all of them are, you know? They're kind of scattered throughout. Oh yeah, this guy. Peace at last, thanks to the hero. Hurrah for the hero, hooray for Guardia! <coughs> I thought I grabbed the Naga at Brown The heroes beating the evil monsters, yeah. I don't know why that, that guy's supposed to trade me for the Naga at Bromide that you get in the cathedral at like the beginning of the game. And there's nothing in there. Alright, so I know there's one in the forest and I know there's one inside the castle. So you can actually land right there. So we're going to go into the forest of 600 from the top. Grab ourselves a speed tab. And then we come up inside Guardia Castle. I hope I get the, the proper side that it's on. Right side. <laughs> And yes, you can see everybody was gathered there in the front. There is a few things to do in the year 600, a few things to do in the year 1000, but uh, that is Sophie's main storyline piece. No! Not in this room, right? No. There it is. 
Alright, something that says React Independent? Nope. Y'all remember how to do this. Yeah, if you touch one in the year 600 and it just gives you the treasure right away, it's because it, it doesn't get powered up. So we're going to search these other four houses before we zip off to the year 1000. Just to make sure that there isn't an additional uh, black treasure box in one of these houses that we can power up. Nothing over there. There's one. Alright. So we'll power that up. Check this last house. back in the time machine, zip off to 1000, alright, so we'll go to the inn, Vest powered up. Found the blue mail. <clears throat> Alright, so we got ourselves the blue mail. Go ahead to G -G -G Guardia Castle. Oh yeah, that's right, we can't come in here. <clears throat> we can't come in here until we do the rest of Sophia's little side quest, so we can't get the powered up treasure box in there just yet. So what we're gonna do is quickly zip back to 600. And no, I will not forget about that when I do Sophie's quest. And so we got the blue mail. Now we're going to open up the one from 600, which is the non powered up version. Head on back upstairs. Yep. Blue vest. So the blue vest, red vest, uh, black vest, and white vest, they're pretty much the same, they just guard from different elements. Hop back in our time machine, zip back to the year 1000. And the last uh, black treasure box to grab is actually in Hecarim Cave. Come over here, go inside the Hecarim Cave. Yes, the Black Omen blocks the doorway. So head on up through Hecarim Cave, just like you did before at the, like the beginning of the game. <laughs> head on down. Ah. Ah. 
<laughs> I missed opening a pepper box. Say word. Ah, uh, it's just an ether anyway. She <coughs> Alright, so there's our wall ring. So we got our magic ring and our wall ring. Huh? There's something else in here. We got ourselves another rock. What in the world? Ooh, another dash ring. I totally forgot you could get that second dash ring in it. back and forth at the end of this game. Well, I mean, if, if you want all of the best equipment and all of the best stuff in the game, yeah, it's a whole lot of back and forth. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and check our map real fast, and we can see off to our right. This is the island that Tama was talking about, where he says, he says the rainbow shell is in here. And if you guys remember a few episodes back, I remember, uh, I, if you remember me saying that, uh, the best weapon in the game for Ash is called the Rainbow, yeah. So, let's give Jesse those two speed tabs because her speed is always horrendously low, and now it's nice and high. Alright, uh, gold stud, speed belt. Dash ring. We can give him another dash ring now. Your metal dash ring. There it is. Alright. Yes, he's got the gold stud. She has a dash. Um Okay, oh yes, and I need to La 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 Switch Bruce out for Magus. All right. Go ahead and make sure we're all nice and fresh. So we're almost at max nines now, like everything nines, which is great. He's only missing 3 MP, he's actually 9'd out, and she's missing a bunch of HP. Okay. Very cool. I think we have all of our good shit equipped. Shoot edge. Yeah. Gold stud. Okay, yeah, he has the silver stud and dash ring. We're good to go. Let's get a game save. And a... I want to thank you guys for coming out and watching this episode of Chrono Trigger. Thank you so much. Um... Uh, please hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new because I'm going to be playing hundreds of games on my channel in the future. Um, please feel free to comment on the video as well. I always forget to say this, but please feel free to comment on any video you want. I will respond back to you as long as, you know, you're not saying something stupid. Uh, I, will <laughs> I will respond to you. And don't think, you know, the word stupid is like, you know, just saying something dumb. I mean, like, don't be stupid. Stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be racist, you know, any of that stupidity, just don't be stupid like that, you know, because I'll just delete your comment. There's no point in even doing it, because I'll just delete the comment. But if you want to say hi, if you want to ask me a question, man, uh, I'll definitely respond back. I'll throw a heart on it and everything, so uh, please feel free to comment and always like, and uh, please subscribe if you're new, man. Thank you guys so much once again. I will see you guys in the next episode where we will go... 
into the Giant's Claw and claim ourselves the Rainbow Shell. Hope you guys have a freaking awesome day. Bye, bye.